Hi, I'm Joe Wikowski. In this video, I'm going to show you several different types of drywall fasteners, some of the applications, and how to use them. That's coming up next. All right, so there are many different types of uh, wall anchors for drywall and brick. Uh, the ones I'm going to touch on are for drywall or hollow walls. Um, there are, like I said, many different kinds. I'm going to touch on about six of them. The most common ones that you may use uh, in your home uh, for either, you know, um, towel holders or toilet paper holders, uh, any kind of a, you know, bathroom accessory, maybe a kitchen accessory, uh, possibly a thermostat or um, um, a smoke detector, things like that. These are not meant to be used for wall hung TVs. Do not use those for TVs. They will rip off the wall. Uh, they'll rip the drywall off the wall. Uh, TVs are meant to be hung uh, through a wood stud or wood backing of some kind. So again, don't use these for wall hung TVs. Uh, with that being said, uh, let me show you what I got. All right, so I have several different uh, um, mollies or hollow wall anchors this is a toggler and i'll show you how to use this one this one i like the best because you don't have to put the um, toggle bolt together on the item you're going to hang before you put it into the wall i'll show you what i mean later here's another plastic type of wall anchor okay these are what i call easy screws they thread into the drywall and when you screw the screw into, some of them will spread apart like a molly. These will just thread in and hold on through the drywall. These will um, open up and grab the drywall. This will clamp on to the drywall. Um, again, I'll show you that. These, not you're not going to get a lot of use out of these in drywall. These will be for something small and very light, um, like a thermostat or possibly a um, smoke detector. These are not going to have a very good use in drywall. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use these, and uh, let's get started. All right, the first plastic wall anchor I want to show you is this one. And when you get that, when you get this one, this is what it's going to look like. You have to pre-drill a 3 8 hole. And the packaging will tell you because there's a few different sizes of these. And what you do is you fold these up and turn it into a molly like this. Okay, fold the wings and then you tap it through the hole. Okay. So when you get it, it's like this. You're going to fold it, push it together like that. All right, first we're going to drill a 3 8 hole. Take our fastener, fold it, push it through the hole. Now we'll tap it in flush. And now we'll take a screw, screw it through. Snug it up, and you can see how it flares out and grabs the drywall right here. Okay, that's how that one works. The next one I'm going to show you is uh, what I like to call an easy screw. Okay, and that we're going to just this is a metal one, we can screw this right into the drywall. What we do is we'll put it right in the drill and we will just screw it in. It'll self drill it. Okay, and that threads itself into the drywall. Now they have different sizes of these and they'll tell you how much weight 
each one can hold. Um, the metal ones can hold more weight. And then you just screw in whatever you're going to, you know, um, whatever you're going to mount. Uh, I like to use these for towel bars. But keep in mind, it does do a little bit of damage around um, the screw hole. So whatever you're mounting, make sure it covers a certain amount of area. Otherwise, you'll want to go to a smaller one or possibly a wall toggle. And then basically you can just mount whatever you want to mount by threading the screw right into that center hole. Okay. Okay, now I have a plastic, what I call the plastic easy screw. Um, they call them easy anchors. I like to call them easy screws. So these easy anchors are plastic. Now, on a, these are also self-drilling. However, on a, on a half-inch drywall, um, you'll be able to self-drill these into half-inch drywall. Um, if you're in an area where you've taped, these may not work because the heat, for some reason, seems to dull the tip. Okay, and in 5 8 drywall, you definitely are going to melt the tip and it's not going to drill in by itself. I like to drill a little pilot hole with these. And all you have to do is uh, find a drill bit that is about the same size as the pilot hole on the easy anchor. And then you just push, put this into your uh, screw tip. Thread that in, it's flush. Doesn't do too much damage to the wall that way. These also come in various sizes and uh, weight load limits. Check the box when you buy them. Um, I like to use these as well for towel bars, um, toilet paper holders, um, soap holders, toothbrush holders, that sort of thing. Um, you can also use these for hanging pictures. Um, you might be able to get away with hanging shelves with these. I don't like to, you know, if you're going to put a lot of weight on the shelves, these aren't a great idea. You want to have some kind of a backer in them. Uh, the metal ones will work. Uh, these will work, but if you put a lot of books or something on a shelf, you know, use some common sense so it doesn't pull the, the drywall out. Of course, you're going to use several of them on a shelf bracket, so uh, um, you'll have to experiment with that a little bit. And all you do with those, same thing. Now that that's in, in the wall, put your screw in there, mount whatever you want to mount. Okay, and this is what it looks like from the back. It will also pop the end out to try and hold it in a little bit more. Okay, it's not quite like this one. Mainly it threads itself in the, it'll thread itself in the drywall. Okay, so I have a wall molly. Uh, this is a hollow wall molly. Um, this one, uh, they have several different sizes. This one is meant from eighth inch to five eighths drywall. And this shaft right here is the depth of what you're going to be mounting it to. This one says eighth inch to five eighths drywall. These, this will be a little bit bigger. It'll say from five eighths to three quarter drywall for the next size up. They come in different sizes. This one's a little larger, so I can, so you can see it better. And we have to pre-drill the hole for this one. Now it has several little pins on here to hold it in the drywall and lock it in while you're tightening it so it, it'll it'll open up and grab the drywall so you want to make sure you drill the hole the right size if you go too big it's not going to hold it's just going to spin around in the hole this one i'm going to use a 3 8 inch uh, bit to drill this hole Okay, and then we're going to slide it through, give it a little tap, tap it in so the little pins hold on to the drywall, and then we're going to screw it. Um, we're going to screw it until it tightens up, and you'll feel it. Okay, it's starting to grab. Now, what you want to do. 
don't over tighten it okay whatever you're going to mount whether it be again a towel bar or whatever you're mounting to the wall these are pretty these are pretty strong and i'll show you why you can see how it opened up in the back here how it held on to the drywall all right if you push this too tight okay it's going to over tighten into the drywall so what we want to do is mount whatever you're going to mount whether it be a towel bar or um you know any whatever you're going to mount with it take it off take the screw out and mount the item first and then tighten it the rest of the way Okay, so now I'm going to mount this item. I'm just going to say a little bracket here. And we're going to mount it. And then we're going to tighten it the rest of the way. And now it's fully tightened. Then you can loosen this up. Make sure you got this where you want it. And you may want to change over to a screwdriver for this, just so you don't strip out the piece. But this is, this is a very strong uh, wall anchor. This will come in handy for a lot of your, um, a lot of the items you need to mount, accessories. And you can see how it finished. Um, Mounting to the drywall. You can see how that's squeezed between the drywall. All right, the next wall link I'm going to show you is the wall toggle. Okay. This one threads in and out. The difference between this one is Okay, I'm going to take this piece out here. You can reuse these. Like all of these, you can reuse all of these. Okay. And what I mean by reusing them is, is you could take the item off the wall, paint, and put it back on. Okay. All of these, you can take the items off the wall. All of the ones I've done so far, you can take whatever you want off the wall, leave these in place, paint, and put these back on. The next one I'm going to show you, the wall toggle, you cannot. Once you mount these, okay, once you mount your item, your accessory with this um, wall anchor, it has to stay in place. If you remove it, okay, the little wing nut will fall off the back of the wall. And I'll show you that after I install it. Okay, so what you have to do is find a drill bit the same size as, fold this over, okay, and measure this part of the wall toggle, and that's the size hole you want to drill. This one happens to be a 3 8 so I'm going to use a 3 8 drill. We'll drill our 3 8 hole. And you'll see this will fit right into the hole. If it's a little tight, that's okay. We'll just fudge it through. Okay, and it leaves a pretty big hole here, all right, because you have to send the, the wing nut through. Okay, so whatever you're going to mount, and I'll mount this little clip, you have to mount it through the clip first. Okay, so you're going to have to put the bolt through start your wing nut They're a little hard to start sometimes okay and that's how you're going to have to mount your item with you're going to have to mount your item in this way Okay, 
Now, when you have this closed, okay, if you're mounting on half-inch drywall or five-eighths drywall, you want to make sure you have enough room for this, for the wing to open. So when you push it through, it's got to be open. So you can't, you don't want to push this too far down on the bolt. Let me show you this. If you push it too far down, you see how close it's getting to this area here? It will not have a chance to spread open once it reaches behind the wall. So you want to back it off and make sure you have enough room for it to open. There's plenty there. We have five eighths. There's at least five eighths there. I'll go a little bit wider. Okay, now we're going to close the wing and push it through. Okay, you see how it opened up? And now we can tighten our, our, our toggle bolt. Now you're going to have to put a little pressure. You're going to have to pull on the bolt a little bit, pull it out, in order to put some pressure on the wing so it holds on to the drywall. And then you can take and tighten this up. Go slowly. Okay, now I'm closer. You can get these pretty tight too. Now it's snug into place, holds really well. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, you have to put it through um, the item you're going to mount. So if you're going to mount shelf brackets, standards for shelves, and you have four of them, you're going to have to put all four in and get them started in the hole. It's a little bit difficult. They hold really well though. Okay. Now let me show you when you take this apart, what happens to the wing nut if you want to take your item off the wall. It's gone. It's hidden behind the wall. You'll have to get another wing nut to remount this. So this, this one is not reusable when you remove your item from the wall. Okay. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is um, it's called a wall toggler. It's basically the same. It's somewhat the same as the one I just showed you with the wing nut. Okay. However, this one is reusable. You do not have to mount the thread through first, the threaded part. Drill a hole big enough for this wing to go through. Okay. Let me show you. We have to drill this hole big enough for this to slide through, and you have to pull it over like this to slide it through. I've got a half inch spade bit that I'm going to try and use that. If we need to go bigger, then we'll go bigger. We're going to try it with the half inch spade bit. All right, so for, for the toggler, you need to drill a hole wide enough for this piece to be folded over like this and sent through the hole. I've measured it and it says I got a half an inch here. So I'm going to use a half inch spade bit, drill my hole. Okay. And now we fold this over, slide it through. Okay. And different stores have different types of these. They're going to have different models. They both they all work basically the same, okay, where you hold on to this piece and push on a, a, another part to hold the toggle in place. Once you get it to this point, if you've made a mistake, um, it's no good anymore, okay? You can't, you know, you can't take it out again. So it's permanently in place, so make sure you have it where you want it. These are a little bit more expensive. These are a dollar, dollar fifty a piece. So once you get it through the hole, push this there's a tab here. Put, hold on to this part for your finger. Put your finger in here and hold it with your thumb. Push this part through. Okay. Tighten it all the way up to the wall.
Okay, now it holds the toggle in place. You snap these off. And now you can mount um, the accessory you want to mount. Okay, now after we've broken the tabs off, we can mount whatever we want to mount. And you can see you don't have to hold the wing. You don't have to reinstall the um, bolt and the wing nut ahead of time. All you have to do is make sure you start it straight. Mount whatever you want to mount. Tighten it up real good. And that's, uh, that's a pretty good hold. If you look in the back, here's the wing nut. It's sandwiched itself to the um, back of the wall. And what's nice about this, like the one before, if you pull the if you pull the bolt out, you'll lose the wing nut. These you can also leave in place. You can leave in place and reuse, paint around and, and remount what you want to mount. As long as this little plastic washer hasn't broken free, and it does sometimes, and occasionally you might have to replace it, you can reuse these. Okay. The last one I want to show you is a little plastic molly. Okay, these you normally use for brick or masonry. You can use them for drywall, but they're not going to hold anything, not much weight. The only thing I would hold, uh, put on the wall with these is maybe a little sensor or a thermostat or your smoke detector. And you have to make sure you drill the hole the right size. Make sure the hole is not too big because this will not hold at all. There's little ribs on here. So if you use it for drywall, drill the hole a little smaller and tap this in, okay? I'll use an eighth inch bit for this one. Again, these, they're many different sizes. These come in many different sizes. This is a small 3 16 You drill a hole. Slide through the hole. Again, you want it a smaller hole so the ribs, the ridges on the molly will catch the drywall and tap it into place. This isn't going to hold a lot of weight. Okay. And I'll show you why. This will hold, again, a small picture frame, thermostat. Um, smoke detector but what happens is once you thread this through okay it squeezes through there but it can pull out it's a little hard to pull out now okay it's in there pretty good you tapped it in there light fixture but if you pull on it just a little bit it can pull out of the just by a little bit of pressure okay and yeah I use my hammer but if you put any weight on it it just pulls it right out of the wall so these are very temporary. These are more used for brick or masonry. Again, for something very lightweight, you may be able to use those. Find a use for them. Like I say, we use them for mounting. Uh, we use them for mounting smoke detectors and such. Um, so I don't recommend them for anything with any weight. All right, that's about all I got for this video. I hope it helped. Um, Again, there's many different kinds of wall anchors you can buy. I just wanted to touch on a few. Um, you know, it gets a little confusing. Oh, what should I use for this or what should I use for that? These are the most common ones you're going to use. Um, these are not for mounting a TV. I want to stress that. Do not mount a TV with any of these. And another thing you don't want to use these for are grab bars. If somebody's a little bit, you know, somebody's handicapped and uh, they're going to be holding on to this as a grab bar, these are not for that. Those need to be mounted to the wall, uh, wall stud or wood backing in the wall to take the weight because it's over 200 and some pounds that you may be uh, having to hold on to. So, and it gets even greater as you're falling. So again, these are not for um, TVs or grab bars. Um, again, I hope this helped. If you haven't done so already, um, please subscribe. 
and uh, click the thumbs up button. Also, you can visit my website for other tips and ideas and a full list of all of my videos. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com where you'll find an archive of all my videos. Also, click the subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. And don't forget to click the thumbs up and leave a comment below to let me know what you think or if there's something I can help you with.